one of the lovely things about the starburst pattern is its wobbly edge or its scalloped edge and that's because immediately after casting on there are decreases and there are increases and I, in addition to making many hats I've also made headbands and this is a curtain tie back but I have discovered that if you want a matching bound off edge um, which this one is the bound off edge. If you want a matching bound off edge with nice points on it, you actually need to keep making the increases and decreases as you bind off. In double knitting, if you bind off with stitches that have already been worked, it's usually helpful to use a larger sized needle. So I'm working the last round of this project onto this larger size needle and we're coming to an increase position so I'm going to continue to have increases in this round so here's the increase position knit yarn over knit yarns forward purl yarn over purl And off I go. Now, my needle's getting fairly full, so I'm going to go to the other end of this larger needle and resume binding off. And you can see that just where I stopped, it was just before an increased position. So. I'll slip that stitch and I'm going to rearrange the increase. Drop two front stitches, rescue, sneak around the back. So I've now rearranged those recently increased stitches onto that larger needle. And now I can continue binding off. Quite simply, tuck your crochet hook into the second stitch and then pull it through the first stitch. And I've already checked the needle size to that it's giving me the right elasticity in the edge. And I've worked my way through that recent increase. And I'm going to keep going, getting rid of these stitches on this needle. Here was a decrease as I worked those stitches. And that tucks the edge in and the increase pops the edge up. When I'm binding off just using one needle as I go round, I don't go right to the end of the needle so that I don't unduly stress those stitches. Here's the edge that we bound off. It looks a little wobbly right now, uh, but this is also going to be felted, but it will give me a nice corresponding bound off bump and it will nicely mirror the cast on bump down here. And we'll go back to our bigger needle and continue working the remainder of the stitches and then they can be bound off too. I'm using alternative rotation purling. Now here are the three stitches that would have been decreased so I'm going to slip as if to knit, take the next two stitches drop the back ones. For more on decreases there are there are other videos and this is the starburst design. So I've completed my front decrease and my far layer decrease 
and when I wish I can go back to the beginning of that needle and bind them off. And there is our lovely sculpted bound off edge. This is going to be felted and as I felt it I will make sure I manipulate these points so they remain nice and pronounced. 